Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Savvy Programmer and I'm gonna do a tutorial today on getting API data and serializing into a JSON data and what we're gonna use is we're gonna use this rapid API They have a bunch of free API so all you need to do is go to this rapidapi.com and go to the pro uh, the one that says uh, Pokemon so if we go to that uh, URL and we're gonna do a Pokemon Go we're gonna get some of the ranges so it's gonna look like this uh, when we finish you're gonna have a, a make an API request and you're gonna get all this uh, data so as you can see we have the API here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, now do the thing so we're gonna go to endpoint I want to get the Allen Pokemon get uh, so let's go ahead and what do you need to do is uh, go to here and go to object to see and just do that and then we're gonna go ahead and fill out all this stuff so um, we're gonna create this all in playground so like open a new play playground by clicking on Xcode if you don't have Xcode installed press the command and uh, spacebar and you can um, look for Xcode if you don't have it you can install from the uh, App Store but I have another tutorial that you can um, watch uh, to install Xcode so go ahead start Xcode and go to file new and click on playground and click on the blank playground and just uh, name it anything you like so say API test so I'm gonna click on that okay now we have the playground so what we need to do is we need to follow what it says right here so so we're gonna go ahead and create um, a dictionary of headers so let headers so let's go ahead and put it here so you can, you can see that so let me just smaller all right so we're gonna go ahead and create the headers for it so we're gonna come here and say headers equals. So it's a dictionary, as you can see. We can just copy paste this whole thing. So we're gonna copy and paste it and put it in here like that. We don't need. We just need actually just like that and that and there you go. And this is all we need. So we have the key and value, key and value. Okay, so we need the headers and then we need a request. So let request equals. So you want to do a UR request and then we want to have a URL. So we do a URL and then we will say string and then go and copy this URL. It says uh, NSUR with URL with string. So this HTTPS. So I'm just going to do that. Add S. There you go. So we have the request. That's what it says right there. Okay. And we put an exclamation mark. Usually we don't do this, but we're going to do this in, uh, we're just testing it. We're going to just make the API. But if you were, uh, to, uh, do it in a production app, don't worry. Like, uh, we'll talk about it later. So go ahead and just say a request dot HTTP method. And we're going to do a get. And then we're gonna say request dot headers, and we're gonna pass in the headers that we had over there. Headers, okay. And now we're gonna do a session URL session. Shared dot data task, and we're gonna pass in the request. Okay, and then we're gonna say data response error and then, and then go like that okay so this one needs to be a bar because it says that you can set it okay and then this the resume because you have to put in and then this one error so we're gonna go ahead and just make the request now. So we're gonna say if 
error because not equals to nil. We're gonna go ahead and print the error. Otherwise, print the response. And if that data equals data, then we're gonna serialize the data. Let JSON equals JSON serialization dot data. That's a JSON object. We want to get a JSON object, so we want to get data. So we're gonna put a try here, and then it go like that. And then we're gonna say this reading options JSON serialization dot reading options dot readable containers. And then uh, this one readable container what it does it, it gives you an array of stuff. So you can see it's right here it says readable containers. And then um, so we're going to say if let and then we're going to print the data at JSON. So this one is going to be uh, as string n. We want to convert it to a string anything. So, so there we have this, and we're gonna be printing. Uh, it says uh, response dot. It's okay. So we're gonna do that. Localized descriptions. Okay. So we can go ahead and run this and see what happens now. We have two ends and we'll that. So we have we're gonna get Pokemon data basically. As you can see, we have all the Pokemon data. Uh, we have the ID and the name. So that concludes the five minute tutorial, and we did great. We got we ha have a header and we have a request. We're doing a get request. We're using URL session. And uh, if there's an error, we, we catch the error. Otherwise, we're going to get the data and we're going to serialize the data into a JSON object. And that's what we did. And you can actually use this to populate table views and everything.